Hello everyone, my name is Brian Wong and today I want to talk to you about things that you need to consider when you're building out a fixation kit. So the first thing you want to decide is whether you want to place screws or tacks. Uh, let's begin with tacks. So the first thing you're going to need is a mallet uh, to be able to insert the tacks and likely an assistant. Uh, at the very minimum you're going to need a hand to retract any tissue or cheeks, a hand to stabilize the membrane or material you're trying to fixate, and then third, to somebody to actually insert the tack with the mallet. Now, tacks are available in three or four millimeter lengths, so it's recommended that at least two millimeters uh, are engaged into the recipient side. So it's going to limit you in the types of materials that you can fixate. Now onto screws. Screws are widely uh, there's a wide variety of screws available. Um, there's different thicknesses in the actual shaft themselves, anywhere from 1.4 to 2 millimeter thickness of the shaft. Um, the lengths of them are, are vary anywhere from 3 to 14 millimeters. There's different purposes like tenting uh, or even uh, screws that have a wider head to be able to hold down uh, and fixate larger materials. Uh, all of the screws are self. All of the screws that we offer are self-tapping, so there's really no need for any kind of pilot hole. Unless you're trying to fixate something like a two millimeter thickness shaft, you might want to consider that we don't uh, crack the bone as you're uh, self-tapping. Okay, and so now that you've decided uh, on a screw or a tack, um, here are the components that you're going to need. The shafts. So you have a shaft that fits just screws and a shaft that fits just tacks and you also have straight or offset so the offset is designed really for trickier locations of the mouth that you want to place uh, the screws or the tacks in uh, and then the handle themselves the handles are universal so they're interchangeable with those shafts and then the last thing is a storage block now the storage block itself has a few purposes uh, one for storage while your sterilization but two to pick up the screws or the tacks uh, in the middle of surgery. Now, our system has a mechanical engagement of the screw or the tack uh, because trying to pick up the tack uh, with your gloves in the middle of surgery and physically engage it uh, manually is really impossible. So the only way to really truly do that is in the middle is to actually pick them up with the block. So the screws are actually placed in the block and the shaft just engages into the screw and that way you're not having to hold the screw and hold the shaft and then try to fixate it into the patient's mouth. This one it engages into the screw by itself and disengages just with a, a short little twist. So that's pretty much all you really need uh, to get it yourself into fixation. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. Please visit our website, cetogenics.com. Under instruments, you should be able to uh, view screws and tacks, and there's two available options here. You have the full kit and a starter kit. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.